Hey everybody, Pixel here, and welcome back to more Pokemon Silver in the last recording in this session, because my voice is starting to give out. Last time, we caught ourselves Articuno and Zapdos, though unfortunately Moltres is blocked off to us behind a made-up barrier. So, this time, we're going to be heading off to catch our final Legendary before I go to take on the Elite Four a second time. And let me tell you, this is a good one. In Pokemon Gold, Silver, and Crystal, this legendary Pokemon that I'm going after will not be here. You are going to find instead an item in the water that you have to find using the dowsing machine called the Berserk Gene. What the Berserk Gene, gene does is it increases its holder's attack power but it makes it so that holder is permanently confused. I wouldn't personally use it. I feel like it might be a little fun just for a gamble, but overall, they definitely replaced it with something better in Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Unfortunately, we're going to have to deal with the uh, poor rendering capabilities of this emulator and see this crosshair around our trainer at all times with the lighted up part of the cave right behind. So, yeah, I never thought they could manage to make this more inconvenient, but they found a way by making this game actually have decent protection against emulation. This is a weird dungeon. That much I can say for sure. I don't know my way around at all. Um, I don't think Rock Smash is required. I hope not. Um, yeah, I'm not a fan. I don't like mazes in games. It just hurts my head and makes me start to lose interest in the game very quickly. But, I mean, whatever, right? This is a lot of people's favorite dungeon, mostly due to nostalgia, I will admit, uh, because Cerulean Cave was originally only in Pokemon Red, Blue, Yellow, Fire Red, and Leaf Green. It made its triumphant return in Heart Gold and Soul Silver. So, yeah, if you're trying to come here in Gold and Silver, you can't. This cave is gone. Luckily, I have axed. God! If I need Rock Smash for this, I am going to be upset. I'm going to have a stern talking to with the level designer on the Pokemon team. Because I don't even know where to get Rock Smash in this game. It's the last ladder I can get to. I'm so used to this place being insanely easy to get through and also helpful because of Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. Because this cave was so good in those games. Just for training. You can get your Pokemon up to level 100 so fast here in those games. <sighs> Speaking of, let's just see how strong the Pokemon here are. 42. Definitely some of the strongest Pokemon you can find around the world, so... Not a bad place for training in this gen either. Unfortunately, it's starting to look like we actually will be needing Rock Smash to get through. Oh. Well, let's go find Rock Smash, I guess. Oh. I found another ladder. Maybe this one. So far, so good. Um, okay. Ultra Ball, not what I was looking for, but okay. If I can get an Ultra Ball without Rock Smash, maybe I can get a cool legendary Pokemon without it too. This way. Um. Um. 
Um, future me, I really hope you cut this out if you do need Rock Smash for this, because if this is painful for me to watch as I'm playing, then I certainly don't want to subject any viewers to it. Future me is a fucking sadist, though, so maybe he does. Um. This. <sighs> okay, Wobbuffet can appear here now. That's new. Oh, this looks extremely promising. Two ladders in a row. I keep not putting up a rappel, and I don't know why. Hello, Parasect. Or better, Rip Dank. You're lucky that I have no intention of parting ways with my level 8 Paris. Dungeon is significantly easier if you have Flash, just so you know. <laughs> like, taking an HM Slave here might not be the worst idea. <laughs> what direction? Uh, let's just go up here. This is looking a little familiar. There are so many different layouts that this cave has had over the years. It's had one in red and blue, one in yellow, just so many different depictions. But I recommend you save. I won't because those past few legendary fights have me feeling extremely cocky. And you know what? Let's do it again. A wild Mewtwo appeared. Mewtwo is one of the best Pokemon ever, and that is just objectively true. It has a massive 154 in its special attack stat and 130 in speed. This makes it the fastest Pokemon with a special attack stat that high. It can learn so many different types of moves, Thunderbolt, Ice Beam, Flamethrower, Psychic, Shadow Ball. Any of these special moves that you want it to have, it can have. It's also just extremely good at doing practically anything else. 110 in attack? That's not tiny. It can do so much damage with anything it does, and to count that, just to give it more points, 106 HP, 90 defense, and 90 special defense. There is nothing Mewtwo can't do well. And that's just... Unfortunately, the truth. Mewtwo has remained one of the greatest Pokémon since its debut in the first games, and that's saying something. So yeah! It's pretty cool to see Mewtwo back, uh, considering he kinda left for a little bit in Gold and Silver and Crystal and just left a single gene behind in the river. I'm gonna go for two extreme speeds before going for my classic cocky dusk ball. I don't know why it's classic already, but it sure is. All right. I do like Mewtwo's sprite in this game. The purple eyes are very, like, They're very, like, defined in a weird way. Okay. It's time. Let's see if my luck continues. One, two, three. Why? I actually want to know why my luck is so great lately with these legendary Pokemon. 
It usually remains motionless to conserve energy so that it may unleash its full power in battle. Six foot seven, Jesus. Give a nickname? No. Alright. With that, we've caught pretty much every legendary we can actually get access to at the moment. And, yeah. We've done a lot around the Kanto and Johto region since becoming champion. But that's definitely one of the biggest achievements. Now that we have all of those, though, what better to do next than head back to the Indigo Plateau? The last time we were registered in the Hall of Fame was in August of 2018. I think it's long overdue that we do it again. Let's heal up. Purchase the necessary equipment. And teach Axel Ice Beam. Before we go, I want to make our legendaries something a little special. So, see you guys in a sec when I'm done sorting this. I give our legendary Pokemon a fabulous little box all to themselves with room for Moltres when we finally get to catch it. But that's all. We've got Lugia, the Pokemon who we caught at the World Islands after a Wonderful ceremony by the Kimono Girls. Hello, a Pokemon that we got thanks to an old man giving us a feather in Pewter City. Suicune, a Pokemon who we followed around the entire two countries. Entei, a Pokemon that I wasted a Master Ball on. Raikou, a Pokemon that I love design-wise and functionality-wise. Articuno, the worst of the legendary birds tied with Moltres, but also a very beautiful Pokemon. Zapdos, the best of legendary birds, with a decent-ish nature, I guess. Not Moltres. Mewtwo, a Pokemon with a bad nature, but honestly, I don't care. Good Pokemon overall, and one of the best stat distributions of anything in any game in the series. And Latios, a Pokemon that Steven Stone told us about. And that's all. We have caught so many different Pokemon. And they've all served in some way. But the ones who have been here the longest are all here. Lance, Rocky, Axel, Salad, Ego, and Atlas. And this is the team that's going to be taking on the Pokemon League again in the next episode of Pokemon Soul Silver. See you guys then.